Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. So today I'm coming to you guys with a dark lip and black and gold glitter eyes. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this, but this is the look. <laughs> so I'm going to stick tape on the back of my hand and then place it on the outer Vs of my eyes. And I'm going to go in with my transition color today in a fluffy brush. I'm using Frappe by Makeup Geek and I'm going to blend that above my crease. And this is going to serve as our transition color today. And I'm just going to take my brush and use windshield wiper motions and swipe back and forth. So now I'm going to go in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to apply that underneath Frappe using the same kind of motion. And I'm going to focus this color more towards the outer V of my eye and blend it into sort of my crease area. Now I'm taking Shaq's eyeshadow by Kat Von D and I'm going to use a pencil brush and apply this to the area outer V area of my eye and I'm going to drag the excess product into the crease. So I'm kind of creating a subtle cut crease sort of thing. Then I'm going to blend that black out with a tapered blending brush and I'm just going to blend the product into the crease and focus it on the outer V. I'm going to pull my eye because the product wasn't dispersing right so this just helps it to be a little bit more even and I'm applying some more of the black shadow because it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be and I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush to apply it and then you basically want to go back in and blend everything out. So I'm basically just applying a little bit more shadow to the crease area with that flat shader brush pulling my eye and doing that to the other side just so that it looks more even and everything and a little bit darker. So I'm just going to kind of blend with that shader brush. Then I'm going to go back in with a clean blending brush and blend the black up into our transition colors. Not too far up, but just enough so that it looks dispersed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So now I'm going to apply this really gold eyeshadow by MAC called Amber Lights and I'm going to apply that to the inner parts of my eyelid and as well as actually the inner parts of my eyelid. So uh, yeah, basically on my lids <laughs> and I'm just going to pack that on right there. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of glitter. I'm using my white duo eyelash glue and I'm applying it with a Q-tip. And this is just the easiest way that I found to do it. So, and then I just kind of apply the glitter with a angled eyeshadow brush or brush, period. And then it just applies the product right where I want it to go, like the glitter right where I want it to go. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, add your gold eyeshadow and then put gold glitter on top. It just makes it pop. And you want to wipe the glitter off. Because literally glitter gets everywhere. That's why sometimes I hate using it, but whatever. So now I'm using my Carbon Black Mascara. And I let my eyelashes sit. So I'm going to prepare them right now. <laughs> let them sit and let them get tacky. So now I'm applying my Feline Eye Coat in my waterline per usual. I'm going to take off my tape. It did not hurt this time, guys, because I did it like 10 times on my hand first. <laughs> so I'm just applying this to my waterline. Now I'm going to apply some black eyeshadow to my lash lines and I'm just going to smudge that out with my e.l.f. smudger brush and just smudge that black shadow out so it's a little bit more smoky and that's the only thing that I used on my bottom lash line was the, um, the black eyeshadow and I just kind of really smudged it out so it looked really smoky. Now I'm going in with Old Darling by MAC and I'm putting that in the inner tear ducts of my eye so that my eyes pop a little bit more. Now I'm putting mascara on my lashes, my bottom lashes. So you guys know if you've been watching my videos for a while I've been obsessed with Night Moth lip pencil, okay? So I'm using it again. <laughs> so I'm using it to outline my lips and I was gonna do like an ombre lip but you guys I decided to fill in my whole lip with this lip pencil. Isn't it gorgeous? Like isn't it gorgeous? I've been obsessed with this all fall, so I had to use it again. So I filled it in and I used Spice um, LA Girl lipstick on top of that, and it came out really nice. So this is basically the end of the look. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and go ahead and check out some of my other videos if you missed them. Thank you guys for watching again. Bye!